what I am doing is removing some really good cards for poker. And we're only going to use 10. That's enough for two players. Head to head, we'll play. And uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 cards only. Only use 10 cards for this. And uh, I'm going to win, so don't feel bad. Who here knows the basic <laughs> rules of poker? Uh, Scotty, you know the basic rules of poker? Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to let you make every single decision. And despite making every single decision, I'm going to win this game. All right? So okay, I won't bet. You don't want to bet? Money on the table, man. He, who's going to bet? Who wants money? No. It's okay, Scott. The, the first round is free. That's okay. fine. I'm going to deal cards like this, one at a time. Okay. I'd like you now to just slide any one you like toward yourself. That'll be your card. Excellent. And do the same thing for me. Slide any one toward me. That's my card. And you get to choose both mine and yours. One more time. Slide one toward yourself. And you may not think I'm influencing you, but just the way I deal one nearer to you, you might think, I'm more likely to take that card, you're more likely to push one toward... Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> Making it really hard for me. Great. All right, I'm changing the... <laughs> I got three now. You get even more control. I'd like you to slide any two toward you. Oh, last minute change. He had to do that. And any three toward me. Any three. <laughs> oh, did I say three? Let's try that again. Any two toward me. That's more. There are two cards left. You realize if right now I had him slide one toward each of us, he would have made every decision. But if I win, it's like flipping a coin. He didn't get to see any of the faces of the cards, right? It'd be much more interesting if I did this. Because now you know what one of the cards is. King's a pretty good card for poker but depending on what you've got in your hand. But if I did this, it would make it even more interesting. That's a much better card, but depending on your hand. Tell you what, I'll let you look at your hand. I won't look at mine. Go ahead and pick up your four cards and pick the one that helps your hand the most. Oh, strange decision. Okay. That means you left me with this card. What did you end up with? Full house. Uh, seven's full of kings. Whoa, that's a sweet hand. Yeah, oh, I bet on that. The only hand that... <laughs> <laughs> you would? Well, not Let's yet. make it interesting. You chose that king and left me with an ace. And fortunately, Scotty, the yeah, only way to beat a full house is with the four aces. He owes me 300 bucks. Thank you very much for playing. Uh, thank you. Well, uh, as a magician, people ask me all the time, how do you make money? And the answer is uh, Kinko's. <laughs> uh, because I have found, if you go to Kinko's, they've got a special kind of photographic paper. I don't know if you've noticed this. And you can use this special paper to make money. If you fold it once, I don't know if you can, can you see a very faint image starting to form there? If I fold it again, see a very, very faint image starting? Folding, see another? It's getting a little darker. Do you see that getting a little darker? See how it's getting a little darker? And a little bit darker? And a little bit darker? And now I've got some money. There you go. You can have that. You All go. right. The problem with a lot of prediction tricks in magic is that um, you don't know what the prediction is until it's oftentimes too late. It's really late in the trick when they tell you. I'm going to come out right up front and say that you are going to stop me at the ten of diamonds. Okay? okay. Now, I don't want you to look for the ten. I want you to say stop whenever you want. I'm going to deal through the cards just like this. And I won't talk as I deal, so it's not one of these psychological things. When I stop talking, you say stop. I'll be completely silent, and you say stop whenever you like. Ten of diamonds is my open prediction. Stop. Whoa, right here. Okay. Now, you stopped exactly at this card, but I'm going to let you change for the second or the third if you want. You can go first, second, or third. It is completely up to you. Ooh, a last-minute change. You didn't want the seven of spades. You didn't want the ace of diamonds. You wanted that one there. Yeah. And you could have stopped at the ace or the six or the eight or the nine, any one of these cards. I don't see... Oh, I see a ten of hearts. That was close. Good for me. Good for me. You said stop at one card. I said it would be the ten of diamonds. The ten of diamonds. How many of you guys have caught on to the recent craze of Texas Hold'em and um, on TV and all that good stuff? Well, um, 
even if you play cards now you can play online you can play um, online with someone across the country and play in real time and stuff like that so the reason I state this is because gambling has really advanced in the last few years well I want to show you some old methods of gambling and some new methods of gambling now do you play cards at all? I have. You have? How many times? Old <laughs> maid, good fish. I was a rummy um, player. Play, but, oh, really? Okay cool. Well what's the best four of a kind in the deck of cards? Ace. Aces. Let's see if I can get the four aces that should be that should be one, two, three. And that should be all four aces, okay? Yeah. Yep. And the reason and the reason I paused that one second is because I was almost off by one here. And if I would have went one deeper I would have missed. Over here you can see I missed if I went a few deeper. And I had a few off here, okay? But I did get the four aces and that took you know, a few years to learn. That's an old method of gambling. Now once you get the aces you gotta know how to do something with them. So I'll show you guys something here. Really neat. Watch this close. Watch. Let's say there's four players in a game. One, two, three, and that's about four equal piles, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to lose an ace. Let's say, for example, Dusty, you had an ace in your hand, okay? That would be yours lost and yours, okay? okay? The next person here would have theirs lost and theirs. Here, too. And this one also, okay? Watch close. Now, the object is to be able to find those aces. And I'm going to try to do it without looking. So watch close. There should be one. Okay? That should be two. That should be three. And that should be four. Hopefully, I got one, two, three. And that should be all four aces. Yeah, thanks, guys. Yeah. That's an old method. And let me show you one more thing. Once you get the aces, people can't accuse you of cheating because it's not a common thing for someone to have four aces all the time like I've got here. So watch what I can do. I can take the aces and I can do what's called mucking. What I mean by mucking is switching cards out in play. There's one, there's two, there's three. Right in front of your eyes, I just did the famous three card muck. I switched three aces away. I really did actually. Completely gone. Gone. And what I did was when you weren't looking, I snuck one back here. And one back here, and then one back here. And now, if I get caught cheating, so do you, and so do you, and so do you. Okay? Okay? One last thing. Um, see, in the old days, if you got caught cheating, someone would just pull out a gun and shoot you. There's new technology in that, too. And I've actually bought, brought it with me here today a pocket laser. Look at this. I said laser, yeah, okay, which is amazing, thanks, okay, and we're going to let you be the gambler, okay, see the button there, okay, found it, now, have you got anyone in here you'd like to aim that at, and, yeah. oh, well, where's, where's Josh at, okay. here's, what, here's what I'd like you to do, if you would, on the count of three, turn that laser on and point it at each of the blocks, Did you see that? I see what? <laughs> Lift up half. No way. Mm -hmm. You can't. There are four <laughs> solid blocks of cards. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Here, check it out.